Welcome back to Texas Motor Speedway. You know, we're mixing it up a little bit this year. Cup Series race during the day tomorrow. The Nationwide Series race tonight under the lights. Kyle Busch will lead the field to green. But it was also a solid qualifying effort for Johanna Long and her small team. Long will start 21st. We do say this a lot. The Nationwide Series, it's where the future of this sport is born and developed. It's where names like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Austin Dillon are made. So Johanna Long is trying to make a name for herself too. And for Johanna, this racing thing is one day at a time and one race at a time. Johanna Long having a very strong run today. 20-year-old from Pensacola, Florida right now, dazzling all of us. I've always watched my dad race, so it was cool to be like my dad and do something like he was doing. Started racing dirt track cars and asphalt stuff at Pensacola. When I turned five years old, I was like, Dad, let's go to a go-kart race. I want to race. It took my dad a long time for him to say, OK, I want you to race. He put me in softball, ballet, everything he could um, put me in. Finally, when I was eight years old, he let me try it out, and it's stuck ever since. I knew when Johanna was in go-karts, I mean, he knew, I knew she had a gift. I raced go-karts for four years, and then I moved up to a legend car. When I turned 13 years old, we went straight head force to late models. And I won races. I won a championship. She makes history here tonight. Johanna Long wins. When Johanna is on that track, Johanna's in her heaven. I was racing with my dad for her first couple of years, and that was cool. Johanna Long to the inside of Casey Smith. Great move. It. Here in 2010, I raced the biggest race of my career. It's called the Snowball Derby. Landon Castle to the lead, long the second place. I was leading when we took the white flag, and, uh, and Johanna spun me out. Can she get around Castle? She puts a bumper, she turns him. It was coming the last laps of the Snowball Derby, and I would have done anything to win, and I won it. Just, I guess it's something that you never thought was going to happen. Her dad had tried for so many years. You know, it was a big deal. It was special for everybody. After I won the Snowball Derby, we got a truck team. You know, we went truck racing. Johanna Long makes her career debut tonight. It's oh, our leader right out there. In front of this field, that's the 20 of Johanna Long. Those were the first laps she's ever led. We ran 17 races. I was going to be it. If we can find something where I can take what I was going to spin and pull it to where we can get her a better opportunity in the Nationwide Series, and I was all for it. 19-year-old Johanna Long in her Daytona debut in the Nationwide Series. She's in the hunt for a good finish. Really impressed by Johanna Long. I mean, she's a good little race car driver. I've seen progress from her all year long. Speaking of Johanna, we're checking a tweet by Jeff Burton. Here it is. Deserves a shot in a top 10 card. She's, you know, whenever she goes racing, mean, she runs well. She's got speed. She's been able to qualify fast at some races. Uh, and then, you know, she's been able to go back in her late model car and be very competitive. And those things, to me, means that she can do it. They've had some great runs. I, I remember Richmond. You know, she's running up in the top five with us and, and really aggressive, really smooth, and can keep going and, and pushing as hard as she can. So I think she's gaining a lot of respect doing that. Now Johanna Long getting by Denny Hamlin. I believe that puts her in fifth. Main goal was just gain respect from all the drivers, and I felt like I've done that. Now I'm starting to race hard. My confidence is so much higher than it's been in a very long time. All you ever can ask for is someone to take a chance on you. I don't care who's beside me. I don't care who's behind me or in front of me. It's just all about making your dreams come true and blocking everything else out. Have we had a good enough chance to make a fair judgment about how she's doing and how she's developing in this series? I think we, we've made a, a, had enough time to see that she's got the ability and the desire uh, to get an opportunity at the next step. Right now, I think the she needs to, her next opportunity needs to be with a more experienced team, a more well-funded team to find out if she can continue on. Yeah, it's all about the dollars. Let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, she has proven that she has the ability, the talent, and I think with this race team, this ML race team, she has gotten the most out of this. She's done the best she can, tremendous amount of seat time. She's ready to take that next step. And no offense to her car owners, uh, Mary Louise Miller and that group, they've done a great job but she needs an opportunity to step up and get in the big time equipment with great experience around her. I think she's a really talented racer. Buddy, I'll tell you one thing. When she won that Snowball Derby, she was running the top five throughout the night of that race, but yeah. wins that thing. That proves to me that she can get it done. And I watched her week after week, and we keep talking about it in the studio here about, hey, 
I'm seeing something good out of her. I'm seeing her run up front a lot. And you're right, she needs a little bit better car right now, but one thing I know about racing and wh how, what it takes to get you a better car, money buys speed, That's baby. right, that does. What it you've does. said about her this year is we've seen snapshots of greatness. Yes. And the importance of having that good car and that good crew around you could perhaps be illustrated